right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode or welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And uh, if you guys enjoy this video in the end, please smash the like button, help out with the YouTube algorithm and to make my day. And uh, today we are on the Fishaholic rig uh, on the St. Lucie River and uh, I've got tarpon on the mind because uh, yesterday I was uh, out in the kayak and I had them rolling around the kayak, but uh, I could not catch any bait. So I just fished with artificials and I got on a decent Jack Creval bite uh, and I got on a, on a couple snook. Uh, one was like 36 inches, which is nice. But uh, I really want to just see if we can get uh, at least one or two tarpon bites today. And if we're extremely lucky, maybe uh, leader one or, or grab one, uh, you know, next to the boat uh, if we can. So uh, our first uh, goal for the day is to try and fish uh, in this area for some mullet. So I'm going to throw the cast net around and if we can't get them in this area, I might move down uh, river or up river and uh, hopefully we can find the bait because I think that is going to be critical to uh, catch uh, some tarpon uh, or just at least get a bite. And uh, hopefully while we're fishing for tarpon, we could also catch some jack of all and some snook. So stay tuned. Let's uh, catch some fish. I'm gonna get this uh, net ready to toss and I'm probably just gonna go uh, up and down the mangroves here and uh, we had a lot of rain this morning like it absolutely dumped and uh, the water is looking kind of dirty-ish but uh, hopefully we can still spot some bait if there's any bait here and uh, get a good toss over them and catch them and uh, I'm looking for the larger size mullet. So anything like eight plus inches, I think will be ideal for uh, some of the tarpon in, in the river here today. Right there was a bigger mullet that just jumped. But I've been here for like 15 minutes now. I'm not uh, seeing a whole lot. I saw two little fingers cruise by. All right, mullet skunk here at this first spot. Moved down river uh, probably about uh, a mile or two and I put my jacket on now because uh, it looks like we might get some rain so I just kind of want to be prepared all right let's see if there's any bait here Just spotted a bunch of mullet right there. And I got a bunch of little fingers. Kind of smaller than what I wanted, but they'll have to do for now. That wasn't the best toss, but I, I was working with like limited space on the back here. And I just saw the school of mullet cruising by. So I just did the best I could so we could get a bunch and it worked. All right, so we're gonna head uh, back up river actually to where we're gonna fish for tarpon. And uh, it's 5.38 right now. So uh, I, I forgot to mention, we kind of got out uh, late. I launched uh, like at, at 3.30 and uh, then for the last bit of time, uh, I've been trying to catch bait and uh, we also took a little break because it started raining and uh, took a couple casts around a bridge and uh, didn't catch anything. And then we tried to catch some more bait and that was that last net pull that you just saw. So um, 
we're gonna make the most of uh, the little bit of time that we uh, have left uh, before uh, the sun sets and it gets dark. So I'll see you at the spot where we're gonna fish. Oh, perfect. Didn't even have to net one out. Got a bunch of bait cruising right by this point now. I'm just gonna send my mullet out, uh, you know, 20, 30 yards, just so it's like uh, perpendicular with this point, but uh, it's gonna be back there just sitting right on the surface and hopefully we'll get a bite. While we wait for a bite, I'll uh, throw around this hyperelastic swim bait. Oh, there's fish blitzing right over here. You can't see because the sun, dang. It, went, it stopped already. Got a lot of bait moving uh, right across this point. I could tell because, well, there you go, but I was seeing them ripple like uh, crazy right below the surface and now they're jumping because something's chasing them. All right, let's see if we can get uh, a bite on this. got swirled on. Oh, there he is. Fish on. I bet you it's a small jack curval. Yep. Yesterday, right here in the same spot, I actually had a small tarpon hit this top water, so I'm thinking, uh, it's possible it could happen again. All right, nothing else on the hydro pencil. Let's uh, grab a little circle hook and try throwing one of these finger mullets. Uh, in by the point. Perfect. All right, this guy shouldn't last long. All right, so uh, my buddy, uh, Abe Aaron, a Aben's right there. He's uh, got some larger mullet. He's gonna stop off and uh, toss a couple into my boat uh, so then we can put out some larger baits uh, on, on the blue uh, psychedelic rod. I can pass this bucket over to you. Yeah, I think you can put a few in the uh, bucket. Yo, what's up, Ryan? Yesterday I was catching them up there. I guess that right on the flat there. That's where we were. Yeah, I was using a the uh, this thing, the Wonder Bread pencil popper. Oh, nice. And then the t the bigger tarpon were out there, and then there were smaller tarpon here. Yeah, dude, this is a great spot, man. On sunset, sometimes the mullet will push around the corner, and the will be there like crazy. Mhm. Way up river, there hasn't been much mullet, other than fingers and like the occasional black mullet. Down by that point on the left there, I like I had one shot at like a massive school, but I, the net got tangled. I would use my, I would use my bubba net, but there's holes in it. Here. 
Yeah, there's holes in it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, these will do. Cool, thanks so much. I'm gonna send one out now. <laughs> I tried to call you, I would have given you more, but we went through so fast just now. It's all good. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Later. Thanks for the bait. This mullet will be more tarpon worthy. All right. Hopefully that gets a bite. Fish on. There's a little snook. Oh my gosh, something big trying to eat him. What the heck was that? I think a shark came up to try and eat him. And wow, look at this fatty. I believe this is a fat snook. Super cool. Real heavy too for a little fish. He's probably been eating real good on this little point. Oh gosh. <clears throat> oh my gosh, we got a tarpon. No way. <clears throat> crazy. I thought it was a Jack Kerbal for a sec. He ate it at the wall and then just took off away from the structure. It's a small one too, which is cool. So we can bring him in the boat. in the net and in the boat all right here's a closer look so sweet when uh things just come together not a giant but uh i would say uh a solid like 35 36 inch uh tarpon but uh yeah let's get her back sweet I uh, got a real nice healthy release on that baby silver king and uh, we kind of got like a st. Lucie River slam uh, this evening which is sweet because uh, we got the jack of all the snook and the tarpon and uh, I guess maybe like a complete slam would be if we got a redfish because I have caught redfish up here in the st. Lucie but they are few and far between but uh, I like that we just came out and uh, we accomplished our fishing mission and got a tarpon and uh, I was thinking um, more or less we would like get a bite like that one and then he was gonna just gonna jump and and uh, throw the hook but uh, fortunately enough we got a really good hook set on, on him the uh, hook just was right in the button right on the, the top uh, jaw and it, it was in there real good so uh, we, weren't, we weren't gonna lose that fish but uh, anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please smash that like button hit that subscribe button and uh, I don't think I'm done fishing yet I'm gonna hit a, a bridge on the way back and if I catch anything significant I'll add it to the end of this video but it really won't be like much fishy action it might just be me like holding up a nice fish if I you know say get like a nice uh, snook or something like that but uh, if not then I'm just gonna end the video here and I will see you guys in the next episode and like always live to fish fish to live all right
I found a nice snook to thump a uh, little finger mullet uh, and this uh, snook uh, measure around like 35 36 inches pretty sweet let's uh, get her back and I will see you guys in the next episode